questions. Welcome to the crash course for finance. Today we're talking about valuations. Now, when we try to value a company, we have three uh, standard models that we use. We have discounted cash flows, we have public comparables, and we have present transactions. Now, let me briefly explain what they are, and then we'll go into the more details of how they're used, when they should be used, and what are the upside and downsides of each. Now, for discounted cash flows, essentially, we're trying to value the present value of the future cash flows because essentially we're trying to pay for a stream of payments. Think back to your basic uh, interest theory course where if you get paid a dollar today, a dollar tomorrow, a do I mean a dollar next year, and a dollar the year afterwards, it's not exactly worth three dollars now because if you have that money now, you can do things that you can't have if you only got paid later. So we discount that back at an interest rate. The same way if you put that do uh, three dollars into a bank account, you would earn interest at that rate. So for discounted cash flows, we look at the future projected uh, cash flow uh, for, for the future, and then we discount it back to time zero, and then that's the value of the company. For public comparables, we compare a company, say for example, a chair manufacturing company, we compare it to other publicly traded chair manufacturing companies, and then we use a multiple to determine how much that company should be worth, because essentially it's another assumption that one chair manufacturing company should be valued in a similar manner as other chair manufacturing companies. Now, for present transactions, uh, it's looking at transactions that have happened in the past. So, say, for example, that chair manufacturing company got taken over by another chair manufacturing company. How much was that deal done at? What are the details of that deal? And this method it takes into account the actual takeover of company instead of just what it's trading at in the stock market. The reason we do that is because of the control premium, where if you take over a company, you have to have to pay more than if you're just buying stock in that company as a minority shareholder. Now, let's talk about this kind of cash flows. Generally, we'll discount uh, back the dividends, which is the, the amount the companies pay out to the shareholders, uh, from all the way to the future, all the way back into uh, current time zero. And the reason why dividends are used is because they're the, what companies actually pay the shareholders. So you as a shareholder is what you will actually be expecting to get from the company. Uh, so that's why it said uh, the dividends. Now, the downside of that is that some companies don't pay out dividends. They just rely on the growth, so it's hard to value that way. So some, uh, generally, the free cash flow is used instead. And that way, the company's uh, future free cash flow is going to be back time zero. The difficulty is, one, you have to project out what those future cash flows are, because it's easy to tell from a cash statement what, uh, for today, the chairman of the company, how much that company made in its first year, uh, or last year, or the year before, because that already happened. But what about next year? What about five years later, or 10 years later? It's hard to predict. So the first step you have to do is project out those future uh, cash flows, by, and to do that, generally you have to project out the future financials. Uh, generally it's pretty hard to do, but a shortcut is simple to use, and it's look at research analyst reports. So taking uh, estimates from other people. Now, uh, you also have to figure out what rate to discount the cash flow uh, back we're at. Generally what's used is something called the uh, weighted average cost of capital, which looks at the firm's sources of capital, which is the source of money that's funding the firm. And it looks at the cost of debt and the cost of equity, the equity being the shareholders, and then it takes a weighted average of the two. It also takes into account for shareholders, but that's, uh, I guess, we'll leave that for a later course on when we just talk about DCFs. So we look at the cost of debt, and we weight it by the proportion of debt in the company, and we look at the cost of equity and the proportion of equity in the company. The cost of debt we can get from say, uh, a debt schedule the company publishes in the cash statement. Or we can get from just how much interest did they pay. If they paid $10 of interest last year and they had $100 of debt, then we can assume that the debt is at 10%. So that's a very simplifying assumption, but ideally we would use the debt schedule if it's available. Now for the cost of equity, uh, that's a little bit more tri uh, trickier. Uh, what's generally used in practice is something that called the capital asset uh, pricing model which looks at how the uh, stock price fluctuates with the market uh, stock price. And then there's a formula for that, which we'll also get to in the more detail course for the discount cash flows. Now we'll move on to public comparables. Essentially, if you have, say, five uh, chair manufacturing companies, and the, each company is around the same, and they're all valued at around, say, five times earnings. So if every year they earn, say, $10, they're valued at $50. So that would just uh, imply that if your company is very similar to these other five companies, that your company would also, and your company makes hundred dollars of earnings, then it should be valued at five dollars because of that five times earnings. So it's based on a multiple, a financial multiple. 
Common multiples that are used are EV over EBITDA, uh, and also price to earnings. EV over EBITDA, EBITDA doesn't take into account the debt structure, so you don't have to worry about the debt. And then for price to earnings, it uh, includes the capital structure, so includes how much debt is being on. Uh, the upside of applied comparables is that it's a real market-based uh, valuation method. So you're, you know that these other companies are trading this valuation, and your company is really similar. You can kind of expect to trade as a multiple. But what if you have a uh, takeover? A takeover is the same as buying stock in the company. I take over the whole company. And that's where we look at present transactions, which tends to be a little bit higher than uh, public comparables. So you've probably all seen the news where when you take over a company, they pay like 20% more than the stock price, or 10% more than the stock price. So for the same example of the chairman of a company, if this other chairman of a company that your brother runs down the street and is very comparable to yours, uh, got bought out at, say, five times uh, earnings, then you expect that your company would also get bought out at five times earnings. So it's the same concept as public comparable, but instead of comparing it to companies that are currently trading in the market, you're comparing it to transactions that have happened before, and which encompasses people the premium. The downside of financial transactions is Sometimes, in some industries, there aren't that many transactions that happened in the past, so it's hard to find recent rel uh, and relatable companies to actually compare it to. So the, the set tends to be smaller than uh, for public comparables if it's, uh, if it's an industry with large, large companies. For private companies, then it uh, depends on your data source depends on the specific industry. So that's a brief overview of the different valuation methods, and in future sessions, we'll go over the technical uh, specifications of how to do each one. We'll walk you through everything from how to make uh, projected financial statements to how to calculate that discount, to how to calculate the discount rate, how to uh, what companies to compare to, and we'll run a few case studies as well. Thank you, and hope to see you on future lessons. Thank you.